We play and call it work. Hey folks, Janine from Mini More Gaming here with another how-to video for you. In this video, we are going to paint on this Chaos Renegade Knight. And we are going to paint the gum line around the teeth on the head of this guy. We want to do kind of a purpley fleshy tone that looks a little bit chaosy, but also complements the purpley tones that we have in the armor. As always, if you have suggestions for something you'd like to see in a future how-to video, please leave them down below in the comments. All right, like I said, we want this skin to have a purpley undertone to kind of match the undertones of the armor. We're going to start with the color Zarius Purple. We're going to mix it with a little bit of Lamian Medium. And we are going to do that with all of our colors. We just want to make sure that we have a really nice consistency to our paint. So it applies to the model really smooth and it goes over everything without leaving any kind of streaks or texture on top of the model. We don't want to lose any of the sculpted details. And that does mean that the paint's going to be a little bit thinner. So we're going to need to apply a couple layers until we build up a really opaque color and that's totally fine. As we're painting the gums on this jaw, we really want to make sure that we get down into all of the nooks and crannies that are sculpted in the gum line. There's lots of curves and bumps and little recesses and we want to make sure that especially this dark purple color gets into all of those because this is going to be our darkest color for the skin. We also want to make sure that we paint the flesh that's showing inside the mouth as well. A large section of the inside is taken up by the barrel of the gun and a large section is taken up by the teeth, but there is a few areas where the flesh is sculpted and we want those to be this purple color. Now that we have Zarius purple down as our base layer, our first highlight is going to be with the color Demonet Hide. I like this color because it's a lighter purple, but it's a little bit more of a neutral tone to it than some really bright purples that I could be using. And I'm going to use this as kind of a transition step between the purples that I have as my undertones and some of the skin colors that I'm going to be using later. I kind of want to balance between having this be purple and having this be skin colored. I'm applying this Demonet Hide color over most of the gum area. I'm leaving that Zarius purple in the deepest recesses. I want that shadow to be present, but I want this color to be applied everywhere else that's kind of elevated from those shadows. Our next color is gonna be Bugman's Glow. At this point, I'm going to switch to a smaller brush and I'm going to be a little bit more selective about where I apply these colors. And this is going to be one of my more fleshy tones. I'm applying this in the areas that would be hit by light. I'm going to be using this paint over a pretty large section. However, I wanna make sure that I keep some of that Demonet Hide area visible so that all of the colors are present. And I'm going to be mostly concentrating on catching the top of these bumps right where the teeth protrude from the gums. And then also accentuating some of the lines that are sculpted as it goes back into the armor. There's some definite lines that are a little bit more prevalent and a little bit more elevated and if I catch the top of those it kind of exaggerates the way that this jaw is sculpted. Our next color is going to be Cadian Flesh Tone. This is a very obvious fleshy color. It's the color that we use for a lot of skin and I'm going to be painting this over about 50% of my Bugman's Glow really exaggerating the high points. This is gonna be nice and bright. It's going to make those high points really stand out. But if I use too much of the color, it's going to be a little bit too pink, and that's not what I want. I want to highlight what I've got so far without necessarily changing the tone and making it too fleshy. All right, my next color is going to be Agrax Earthshade. Now this is going over all of the skin. I wanna make sure that I apply it over the whole thing However, I need to be careful because I don't want it to be too thick. I don't want it to pool anywhere. I don't want it to goop. I don't want it to dry in a big puddle. 
So I'm going to apply it and I'm going to move the paint around while it's still wet to kind of make sure that I get an even coverage over everything without it going too thick anywhere. And I want to be mindful of making sure that I'm not creating any kind of really large pools of this color. Our next color is gonna be Rackarth Flesh. This is a gray brown color that's going to tone down the pinky tones and make them a little bit more brown, a little bit more dull and gray. I need to make sure that my Agrax Earth Shade is completely dried before I apply this or it's going to kind of blend together and bleed into areas where I don't want it. And I don't need to use a lot of this color. I'm picking out the high points. I'm giving them a highlight. I'm kind of changing the tint of the colors underneath a little bit by using this color, but I don't want to cover them entirely. And my last color is going to be Pallid Witch Flesh. I need to be careful with this color because it is the main color that I painted the armor. And if I use too much, it's going to make the skin blend into the armor and be the same. And that's not what I want. But this really is the right undertone for what I want as a final highlight on the skin. It's got just a little hint of purple. It's very pale. So as you can see, I'm just using a really small detail brush. I'm really picking out just a very little bit on the high points and I don't need to use a lot of this color at all. All right, and with that last highlight, the gum line on this head area on this Renegade Knight is complete. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to see more how-to videos, I have another one where I'm going to take some of the chaos symbols sculpted onto the armor plates on this night, and I'm going to paint a glowing red look on them. That video is in the mini Wargaming vault, which you can find in the link down below in the description. If you don't already have a vault membership, go ahead and click the link. You can sign up for a seven day free trial and get access to my video, as well as hundreds of other videos in the mini Wargaming vault. So go ahead, click the link, start your free trial, and happy Wargaming.